everyone! Today I am doing my Booktubeathon TBR. So for those of you who don't know, Booktubeathon is basically just like a week-long readathon that is all over your booktube and you can do reading challenges, you can do video challenges, I believe there are Instagram challenges as well, and it goes from July 30th to August 5th, pretty sure. So I am going to be participating this year, or at least attempting to participate, because I am doing my master's and I do work, so there's not a whole lot of time, and that is during like almost my last week of class when everything is starting to get due. So we'll see how it works out, but I will be attempting to do this. I don't think I'm going to be doing the video challenges simply because, as I said, I just don't have a lot of time in general. <laughs> So I am going to try to video, like vlog the whole thing, and that way I will be able to update you guys and have a full video where you guys can check all of that out. Anyway, so let's get into it. We have seven challenges. Let's go. The first challenge is a book about something that you want to do. So for that I have How to Deal, and this is Tarot for Everyday Life. And this is a book that I have not read yet. Um, I want to read it. <laughs> wow, that was really lame. I am always trying to memorize um, tarot meanings and just trying to get a better understanding of the meanings of tarot cards. So I feel like this will be like a fun, interesting read and also a quick read. So I can count this towards my book total. <laughs> the next challenge is read a book and watch the movie adaptation. And of all the books that I own, I have seen all of the adaptations. So what I'm gonna do is do a reread for this one, which is fine, it's my only reread. All the rest are TBR books. But for this one, I'm doing Stardust by Neil Gaiman. I have obviously read this before and I enjoyed it, but I do tend to enjoy the movie a little bit more. So we'll see, it's been a while since I've read it and watched the movie, so we'll do it again. So the next challenge is read a book with green on the cover and that is Age of War by Michael J. Sullivan. I... there's like some green up here. I'm counting it. There's a tree. That's greenery. <laughs> and the back's a little bit more greeny, bluey. So I'm gonna count it. That is my green. As you can see, I kind of already started reading it a little bit. I'm only at page 20, so I'm not very far in, but I really want to read this because, yeah, I'm just really loving the series and I'm really excited, so yay! The next challenge is read a book while wearing a hat, with the same hat, the whole time, which is a very easy challenge, I feel. <laughs> but for that, I am going to read Season of Storms by Andrzej Sapkowski. This is the newest Witcher book. Thing. It's a collection of short stories that fits in between uh, the stories of The Last Wish. So yes, I'm excited. I'm here for this. Yes. The next challenge is read a book with a beautiful spine and none of my TBR books fit that. They all have very bland spines. But for this one I thought I would go with The Book of Dust by Philip Pullman and this spine is like a little bit different. It sticks out a little bit more. It's very like that kind of line drawing and then almost a pointillism with the word dust and it matches the front of the cover. So I thought that was very beautiful and I like it and I appreciate the effort that went into that to make it look like the front. So this is my beautiful spine. The next book is not technically part of the challenge. So this is just something that I will read to attempt to get to the challenge of reading seven books, and that is The Reluctant Queen by Sarah Beth Durst. The third book is finally out, and I need to read this book in order to get there. Those are all my books. I just need to fulfill one more challenge, and then I should have books for everything. The only thing is, with the seven, read seven books, I've only shown you guys six, 
and that is because I don't even think I'm gonna get to all six of these books. I'll probably get to like two, maybe. <laughs> so we'll see, but I'm trying to be positive. That's why I included that last six book. But for the final challenge that I need to fulfill, it is to flip a coin in order to choose the first book. So we'll see. I, I do very poorly at coin tosses. So the two books that I am going to try to choose between is Season of Storms and Age of War because these are the two books that I'm the most excited about and I love them both and I'm just squealing inside for both of them. Okay, so here I have my Canadian Quarter with the veterans on the front. I have Season of Storms to flip this onto. This is, this is so difficult. Oh, I can't even... I need two hands just to set up the coin toss. Okay. Ready? Wow, wow, that was bad. That was really bad. That was bad. Okay. Oh, you know what I realized? I didn't even give one a thing. So this one is heads because Geralt's face is on it. And this one is tails because it has other stuff on it. So this one ooh, landed as, this is technically tails, even though there are heads on both sides. I'm going to count the front as tails because it is where there would not normally be a head. So that one is Age of War by Michael J. Sullivan. Woo! So this will be my first book that I dive into. So there we go. So thank you all for watching. I am so sorry about that coin toss. I literally cannot flip a coin to save my life. It is, it's awful. It is really bad. Clearly that is my worst skill ever. Anyway, I will be getting into these books, I will be wrapping up homework assignments, and I will see you guys in the next video. Let me know down below what books you'll be reading for this challenge or if you will be participating in this challenge and maybe we can like check in on each other. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!